Welcome everybody back to NFL Keeping Score. I am your host, Wi-Fi, and today is the season primer of Keeping Score. I am not alone here, don't worry. Uh, I will not be doing all the talking, but let's look you at- You sure won't. Let's look <laughs> at today's <laughs> analyst. We got M-Dog. M-Dog, how are you feeling today? Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes, especially after the start of uh, the uh, NFL season last night. Uh, it was great, and I think it's a good sign of things to come, all right, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, we have a lot of upcoming stories and Super Bowl picks that we need to talk about. But, you know, as much as I like talking about our picks, right, because it's easy to talk about in the studio, why don't we send it across down south to Alabama and let's get, let's get some thoughts on upcoming stories from Theo, or Team Money, as he would like to call it. Y'all here, Hot Take and Candia. This is just for you. I've listened to Candyman talk Jets, Jets, Jets for years now. And every single time I've played it off, I've ignored it. I've laughed at him. Not this time. Because I think that Aaron Rodgers and the Jets we right back where everyone thought they would be a year ago. You look at the AFC. You look at these QBs. You look at all the talent at this position. It's insanely deep. There should not be this many great QBs. How many of them have true experience? How many of them can you count on to truly win games when it matters? We saw Joe Burrow take Cincy to the Super Bowl, and we all obviously know that the league runs through Mahomes. Outside of those two, Aaron Rodgers is the one that I think I can trust. And, yeah, he's old. Yeah, he's coming off an injury. But I know what he's done over his career. I've seen him dominate time and time again, and I think that will continue in 2024. I like Aaron Rodgers and the Jets to make some serious noise and be a serious contender this year. Well, the Jets seems to be the direction that Team Money is heading. M Dog, what do you what do you think about the New York Jets? Oh come on, it's so touche. Everybody says, "Oh yeah, Aaron Rodgers, you know he's going to come back, and now he's going to lead the team like he's supposed to lead the team." Eh, I'll believe it when I see it, you know. And now T-Money just put the kibosh on him. So, man, I wouldn't be happy if I was a Jet fan, I'll tell you. But Aaron Rodgers, I mean, he's coming off. He had two MVPs. You know, do, does that not play a factor into, you know, what's going to be him with the Jets? Hey, listen, you know, a lot of guys have gotten MVPs and then, then they're done. You know, Kurt Warner got an MVP, you know. And, yeah, he did take the Cardinals to the Super Bowl. But, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Well, I, don't know. I think the Jets are a... Very interesting team. I don't know if I would take them as my uh, incoming storyline. I don't know if Aaron Rodgers is going to be is fully healthy, but I guess we'll have to see. But we do have other people. We Not only Theo coming in through uh, an online service, we also have the Candyman. Let's see what he's got to say. Theo, I am shocked. The biggest Giant fan in the world, the biggest Jet hater in the world, you are throwing love to my JTS. What's the world coming to? I can't believe it. Just want to remind you that Broadway Joe Namath, you know, my legendary hero, a little before my time, went to your school, Alabama. Thanks for the Jets' love. But we're here to talk about another AFC team. We're here to talk about the Baltimore Ravens, mainly Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson, the Louisville Lightning Bolt, the man. Okay, he's won MVP. He's done a lot of those things, really hasn't had to help them get to the Super Bowl. You know, years back, I think it was 2020, the COVID year, the Bills beat them. Uh, he had to run to the bathroom. He was all nervous. Uh, last year, he makes the AFC title game against Pat Mahomes and the Chiefs, and they don't get it done. Uh, I think Lamar can do some big things this year, though. They brought in Derrick Henry to kind of ease his running workload. You know, he's got Zay Flowers. I think Zay is a little bit of a, a wild card in terms of personality. Hopefully he'll mature in his second years. I love Mark Andrews. So hopefully Derrick Henry will run the rock a lot. and He'll open up the field for Lamar to dump it to Mark Andrews to maybe hit Zay Flowers deep and maybe go to Aguilar. So I think Lamar really could you know, do some great things for these Baltimore Ravens in the AFC and propel them to some great success this year. The Candyman seems to think that the AFC is going to run through Baltimore. And, you know, they came close to a championship last year in the AFC. M-Dog, do you think that they have the best chance? Well, we have a little uh, advantage this morning here because we saw the game last night. And uh, I believe, you know, Candyman's clip was, uh, was filmed right before it. So, um, but I, I think I, I like Candy, uh, Candyman's uh, assessment. Uh, they definitely have 
the, the chance, you know. I mean, they got to run Derrick Henry, Derrick Henry. You know, they, they, I don't think they can rely on Lamar Jackson running for the whole season. He's going to get tired. But, you know, they were running him early. He scored a touchdown, uh, Derrick Henry. And then I felt that they stopped using him like, like they should have kept using him. But at the end of the game, they were right there. You know, you're talking about a foot, a, really. a, a toe. A big toe. The guy's got a big toe. Like, if he didn't have a big toe, it would, we would be going but, into overtime. And big, that's in Kansas City. <laughs> a big toe, but nonetheless, it doesn't matter because he still was over the out of bound, like out of boundary. And so you know. But the point is, they were there. They, they were. They were, they were they, knocking on the Chiefs' doorstep. They didn't get blown out. They they stood with them. You know, they had a lot of lucky. Remember, um, Justin Tucker missed a field goal. Mm-hmm. That's a, you know a unfortunate Uncommon situation. Thing. You know what? And and Harbaugh. You saw when he thought when they they called it a touchdown, then they overturned it, game over, right? But you saw Harbaugh on the sideline. They were going to go for two. They were going to go for two. That would have been so exciting to see, you know. But uh, you know, it didn't work out that way. But you know, on the road, hostile environment. I think it's going to be a good good challenge for the AFC. Would have been a great end to the game if we were able to get a two pointer. But we do have one more call in, and uh, we're going to stay in the AFC, if I recall correctly. But why don't we send it down to Big Daddy, Big Daddy, and see what he's got to say. Big. Hey, what's going on? This is Big Daddy here. I'm going to tell you that, you know what? The one story that we're going to be looking at um, that I'm most interested in is the Bills Mafia. Yep, that's right. Why? Well, Stefan Diggs, no longer a Buffalo Bill. And you know what? Josh Allen's got this whole new receiving core. What's he going to do? Is he going to be the quarterback that we want him to be? Or is he going to flounder? Is he going to break under the pressure? Is the Bills Mafia going to support him? Or are they going to leave him behind? We will see. Might, it might take a lot of broken tables, but I think the Bills will do anything they can to get back to the AFC Championship game. M Dog, do you have to agree with that? I agree, you know, but I think their window is, is closing, I think. Um, you know, Josh Allen will be around for a number of years, but, you know, they want to win now. Well, you know, he's in his prime. Don't mess around. Um, but where are their weapons? What about you know? their defense, even? Oh, Old. Even the defense, exactly. So, you know, they're falling down in the rankings here. So, you know, I, I want to hold off on my feelings with regards to, to Buffalo because I got some comments at the end with my predictions. Um, but I think it's going to be, you know, increasingly more difficult you know, this year, as the years go on, for Buffalo. Um, but they'll, they'll, they'll win some games. They got talent, and uh, they just got to figure it out. Who's catching the balls that Stephon Diggs caught, that Gabe Davis caught? You know, so we'll see. They've got, they've got a bunch of receivers who New have guys. to step up. Yep. Khalil, uh, Khalil yep. Shakir, I think is how you say his name. Shakir, uh, yep. Shakir. yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, he'll be an interesting option. But, you know, we've talked to all these guys online. I, I want to hear it in the studio. I want to hear it live right now. And look, what do you think is the best story going into this? Well... Season. It's got to be the story that's never happened before. You know, no team in the NFL has repeated. All right, no team has ever done it. In every other sport, it's it's been done. Uh, hasn't been done in a while. You know, I wonder if my producers have the graphics here of the New York Yankees. Right? I don't Any Yankee fans out there? <laughs> they they got they got three in a row many times recently. 98, 99, 2000. You got the New York Islanders, four in a row, right? And then you have uh, in, in basketball, you had the Oakland A's years ago. A lot of, lot and of in teams. basketball, a bunch of teams, uh, you know, the Celtics and stuff like that. Um, it's been a while since somebody three peated in, in the NBA, but it's been done. It's never been done in the NFL. Can Kansas City do it? All right. Well, they looked good last night. So we'll see. I mean, we'll I mean just even right here, like Kansas City, they look like one of the best teams. They've been the best team uh, historically in the AFC. Do you think that there is going to be even tougher of a task this year than there was the past two? Um, I, I, I don't necessarily think it's going to be tougher. Of course, it's going to be tougher. Everybody wants the top dog to take them down. But um, they showed last night that they got nice, new, sparkly new weapons there, uh, especially in one Xavier Worthy University of Texas, go Longhorns. And uh, you know, he guy. showed, huh? Real fast guy. Oh, yeah. Well, he, he, I think he, he's done the, the fastest 40 ever, right? Yeah, I think 4.21. I, think I mean, isn't that, isn't that a time that is faster than Tyreek Hill? Yes, it was. It was so faster. insane, right? Bro- broken record. He's, he's a little shorter, you know, so you got to find him. But once he gets that ball, he's proven that he could go. And then Pacheco was on the ball uh, last night and running, you know, making some good runs. Um, so I think maybe they might even be more powerful. 
we'll see. They got to figure it out and get everything in place. The defense looked good in in holding um, the Ravens and Lamar Jackson to X amount of yards. I mean, they, they piled didn't. up. They okay. piled up the yards, but the points they you know they held them, they held them. almost didn't though. That's close. True. Well, that's why I say it's going to be a dog fight between the Ravens and and uh, and the Chiefs. Sure. And then and then according to T Penny. You know, the Jets will be thrown in there somehow. I don't know. But, uh, you know, I, don't, I wouldn't count my pennies over it, so we'll see. It's a good pennies pun. Right it's there. a beautiful thing, man, when you're not <laughs> in the studio and you can't talk back, all right? Why don't you come on up and get into the studio there, T-Penny? Well, we do have one last opinion we need to hear from before we actually move on a little bit here. Well, you? Yeah, we need to hear from me. <laughs> what, what do I think? This is what's really, this is what I think is the best, most interesting story, right? Does your shirt can, give it away? No, actually. Oh, it does okay. not give away this. Okay. I think the most interesting story is can Brock Purdy and the 49ers, can they, can they, re, can they, can they rewrite the wrong that was last season? Can, they be the first, can he be the first quarterback in I don't even know how long, honestly, to go back to the Super Bowl and win it after not winning it the first time? Because there's a quarterback curse, guys, and that is that every quarterback who in their first Super Bowl appearance – goes there and loses, has not gotten back and won. I want to see, is Brock Purdy going to be the first guy in maybe ever to be able to do that? I mean, he's got a lot of tangibles. You can't, you can't teach talent, right? Yeah. I, I don't think he's got anything extra uber about him. I don't think he's one of these most talented guys in the league, but he's got a great roster around him. He's got the weapons. He's got everything he needs. This season, they were this close. They were inches from beating the Kansas City Chiefs in the Super Bowl last year. I think it's going to be interesting to watch if they can do that again. But, M Dog, I need to hear what you think about that. Well, hold on. So, your stati- statistics are very interesting. Um, so, you're telling me that for all um, uh, quarterbacks who have gone to the Super Bowl the very next year when they be- went back? Just in general. Really? I'm pretty sure. So, just nobody's in been a loser the first time around and then came back and was a winner? Uh, you can thank Tom Brady for that. But, m- yeah, I'm pretty sure that is a correct stat. I'm trying to think about that. Roger Staubach? I don't, I don't know. So. Back don't in the day? So. Yeah, I mean, my my knowledge doesn't go that far back, but I I don't think. But in recent times, no, yeah. definitely nothing recent. Wow, that's a weird, that's an interesting statistic. So, I hope he knows it because that <laughs> could certainly motivate him, right? Mr. Oh, yeah. Relevant wasn't enough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I I think he has what it takes to do it. Yeah, Ayuk is now signed, so he's happy, and so he'll be delivering some you know some catches and some touchdowns. Um, I, I, they've got a great defense. I mean, I think yeah, sure, they're they could do it. You know, 49ers will be a team to be reckoned with. But, you know, let's stop talking about what's upcoming in the stories and all of that and what could happen. Why don't we talk about what we think is going to happen, what we want to happen, right? So we're going to send it back out south to Theo and Team Money. And we're going to see what he's got, what he th- who he thinks will, he wants to win it, but who, using his head, is really going to win it. What if I told you that there was a team just a year ago had won a playoff game? that had a former coach of the year leading them, that had added one of the most explosive rookie receivers we'll ever see. I'm talking Benaric Award winner. This guy is the truth. What if this team had just added an all-pro defender, had loads of talent on the defensive line, the best interior nose tackle in the league after Aaron Donald retired? What if I told you this team existed? What if this team played in the Meadowlands? That's right. The New York Giants are back. We're going to make some noise this year. I know that I get heat for saying this every single year, and I know how it went last season. I'm serious. Daniel Jones, he's got the beard. He is ready to go out and prove everyone wrong. We're going to see some serious stuff happening in New York. And look, we lost Saquon, but we got Devin Singletary. We have talent on this roster. Is the old line a disaster? Yes, it is. There's nothing we can do about that. But honestly, the pros outweigh the cons on this team. We know what Dable can do. New leadership on the defensive side of things. And I'm very, very excited to see the New York football Giants play in 2024. But if we are truly being honest, the league runs through Kansas City. And there is no denying it at this point. You look. I quite frankly don't think there's a QB who can defeat Patrick Mahomes in the playoffs now, with the exception of obviously Tom Brady, 
And then obviously um, we saw what Joe Burrow can do, but that's two quarterbacks. Only one of them is even in the league right now. Patrick Mahomes is just straight up unbeatable. This dude is the truth. He is the best QB I think I've seen. I think what he's doing outshines even what I saw from peak Tom Brady. I just think that we are going to see history this year in the first ever three-peat. You look at what he did. You look at the fact that he has even more weapons now, even more talent around him now. The league should be terrified. Like Patrick Mahomes, how is he not going to win this year? It's honestly just... I'm excited to watch it as, you know, someone who likes watching dynasties rise, but I'm also terrified because when is this guy going to lose? He doesn't lose. He is the boogeyman, and he is coming for every single team in the league. Patty Mahomes and the Chiefs complete the 3 P. Man, he had a lot to say. <laughs> he had a lot to say right there. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Giants, he, think, he wants the Giants to win, but he, he thinking is his head, he's going to go with the Chiefs, and dog uh, more on the head, obviously. What do you think about oh that? Oh, my God. You think <laughs> I talk a lot, man. The heat is getting. The heat is getting down to, to T. Penny down there in, uh, in Alabama. Let me tell you, man, it's, it's, it's hot in the south still. You know, it's going to getting, gonna be getting a little cool up here. But, man, I don't know. I mean, listen, Lamar Jackson didn't look scared last night. He looked confident. He played a good game. Didn't get over the top. But you know what? Hey, listen, when you lose early on in the season to a team – and then you're good, you know. When the rematch comes, believe me, you want to come back at them. They're the they're gonna be they're gonna be a little hungrier, you know. And and yeah, Pat Mahomes is gonna be hungry for a third title, but I don't know. And uh, the Giants, I mean, come on. And you're <laughs> supposed to make a pick with your heart, but a team that could legitimately actually win. Yeah, sure. I'm a Giant fan. Here we go. Here's the blue. But I mean, in my I mean, come on. You gotta give me a heart pick that. You know, you like Makes the team, sense. but you exactly. Got to, got to, got to have a little bit of faith. Yeah, yeah. You know? So I don't know, team money. All right, whatever, man. Whatever. Well, <laughs> <laughs> he's he's not the only one who obviously is going to be thinking with his heart. We'll see more of those. But next up, let's send it out to Candyman. What has he got? Well, Theo, let me first react to your picks. First of all, I like the Giants. I like Dable. Got a good friend who's tight with him. Met him a few times. He's a good coach. I think the Giants. Don't go far into the playoffs or make a run to the championship game. They should keep that regime. They should keep the patience. They should do that formula that works for the Steelers, that formula that has worked for the Giants in the past, where they stay with one coach, stay with one coaching regime, and they kind of build into success. So the Chiefs, I had the jersey on. Obvious pick. You know, hey, the Chiefs are going to you know, get back to the Super Bowl. Travis Kelsey, Pat Mahomes, they got Pacheco now. Hopefully Rasheed Rice won't get suspended for four games. We see the Chiefs in the NFL, their theme is to wait to see what the real legality is, then they go with their suspensions. Great pick, Theo. There you go. It's all about another AFC team. You know I bleed green. You know I love the J-E-T-S who are going to just elevate to the Super Bowl. You know, Broadway Joe went to Alabama. I got the Sanchez jersey on. He didn't quite get it done for the Jets, but we made two AFC championship games in a row. I think they could have made it one of those, but they didn't. But I'm not going to, you know, cry over that. So let's talk about the Jets, Aaron Rodgers. I purposely try not to pay attention to the Aaron Rodgers storm this summer. I think he tried to quiet it. You know, this defense that they drafted a year or two ago, this is it, man. And if Aaron goes down, they have a serviceable quarterback in Tyrod Taylor. However, he gets injured a lot too. They're going to have to lean on Run the Rock with Brees Hall. Hopefully he does a really good job like he's done in his first two campaigns. Then we, got, we could throw it to Garrett Wilson, maybe Conklin, the tight end emerges. We know the defense, and we know all the talk about Sauce Gardner. J-E-T-S, just elevate to the Super Bowl. Let's go! And we go deep in the heart of Texas. We go to Houston, and we see all their success. You know, they had a really good first half against the Ravens in the playoffs last year. C.J. Stroud had a great rookie campaign. He's, he's, good. he's one of the first quarterbacks chosen in a lot of these fantasy leagues. And now with the additions of Joe Mixon, uh, with the addition of Steph Diggity Dog, Stephon Diggs, uh, hopefully their defense can dial it up. Some people are picking them to go to the AFC Championship. Some people are picking them to make a I'm picking them to go win the Super Bowl, the second year of the Stroud campaign. They got Diggs. They got Tank Dell. They got Joe Mixon. Get it done the defense. Their schedule is probably tougher, but I think they can do it. Deep in the heart of Texas, Texans Super Bowl. Take it to the bank. 
Houston is got a lot of heart, and they've got a lot of talent Ooh. on that team. And, you know, you can't even make a great point. And, uh, you know, I'm going to talk about more of the Texans, obviously, here, because they're a more realistic pick, I'd like to say. Shot at the Jets. Uh, what do you think? Texas. Mm, you know how I like Texas, but uh, not a bad pick. I mean, you know, definitely uh, outside of the box as a pick. Uh, they've got talent. He didn't mention Nico Collins. Love that guy. Six foot four target. Um, but uh, come on, Candia. Come on, buddy. Candia with the Jets. Come on. You're supposed to pick a realistic pick, even though it's in your heart. Come on with the Jets, the Jets, the Giants. Come on. But uh, I like that Texas pick, you know. But I'll tell you, um, if they get there, they're going to get mopped up by my pick for the uh, NFC, which uh, I guess we'll, we'll get to. We'll get to that. Uh, am I up Let's, next with that, uh, or are you going first? We got, we got, oh, we got well, more. Big Daddy. We got to get to Big Daddy. For, we got one more. I mean, do we really, is there any doubt who Big Daddy uh, is going to pick? Mean, I mean, come on. But as much as there is a not we'll doubt. We'll hear it out. We'll as much hear as it out. not doubt, we do need to let him speak. We, pre- we need to speaks, let him you know? So why don't, why don't we send it down to Big Daddy, and let's see what he's got to say. So with my heart, you know what? I was never really a big football fan, but when I married my wife from Detroit, Michigan, the Lions became my team. So therefore, for the past 12 years, I've been watching the Lions play. You know what? I've seen them be horrible. I've seen them win no games. I've seen them come really close, but never really quite make it. So you know what? My heart's always with the underdog. You know what? I want them to really win. But if I'm going to go with my head, you know what? There's so many stats out there. There's so many things on paper. You know who I'm going to pick to be my pick on paper and to go with my head? The Detroit Lions, baby. Yep, that's right. I'm going with the Lions, and here's the reason why. We've got Dan Campbell as their head coach. We've got Jared Goff as their quarterback. Yes, he may not be the best quarterback out there, but he's got so many weapons that he can use. He's got... I'm on Ross St. Brown. He's got Jameer Gibbs. He's got David Montgomery. He's got Sam Laporta. And he's got the rest of the receiving core. And there's weapons that you don't even know about yet. So, yes, that's right. The Detroit Lions this year, Super Bowl champions. I'm going with my heart, and I'm going to tell you that it's going to match with my head. I want to give a round of applause. Right, I don't know if you, can, know it, if you can hear it, but a round of applause for, that uh, was great. for Big Daddy right there, you know. Lions, I, I was shocked that he picked the Lions for his heart and his head. No, I'm just messing around. But, uh, you know, smart picks, actually. I do think the Lions are a very good team. And, uh, obviously, wife from Detroit makes sense to root for Detroit. What do you got to say about that? Hey, listen, I like it. Big Daddy taking a chance. Uh, definitely taking a chance. I mean, we know he was going to pick them with their heart. But you know what? Now, Detroit can actually. They do have a legitimate chance, you know, to, to surprise some people, and I don't even know how much of a surprise it would be uh, if they go. So uh, not a bad heart and brain pick for Big Daddy. They got a lot of weapons, and you know what they got as a weapon? The number one fan. They got Big Daddy. He so, is one yeah. of their best fans. One so, of their biggest fans. Oh, yeah. It would but, be nice to see a, a, a team that not everybody is necessarily expecting it, and it would be just nice to see a team that's never won it before, too. Well, and that'll lead me into what I have to I say, ask maybe. You. But all right, you know, well, am I up? Yeah. Do you, do you think it's going to be a team that's never won it before? Uh, no, but uh, I'm I'm hoping in my heart there'll be a team. All right. So my uh, team in my heart is the Bills. You know, I mean, they're a New York team. Uh, you know, everybody. You know, the the Giants and the Jets haters will say, "Oh, that's not the true New York team. They play in Jersey." But you know, come on, the Jets, the Giants, and the Bills now, and 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 they deserve the respect. I just, I just hope they can get there. I, I do believe their their window is closing, but in my heart, you know, I feel for the Bills fans. I went to a game up there last year uh, in Orchard Park, and in my heart, I, I hope they can get to the Super Bowl. Um, uh, you know, with Josh Allen, you know, you don't want to have a, a franchise quarterback and then just never win it. You know, and, and Buffalo has been down that route with Jim Kelly, you know, four times. And, and uh, I want it for Buffalo. But you something did. tells me they're not going to get over the hump because you got Mahomey over there and you got your boy over there, Joe Burrows. And so in my brain, I'm saying the 49ers. I think the 49ers gets, get over the hump. Uh, they got a lot of weapons. Um, definitely one of the favorites. Um, but I think... I think they're one of the, the, you know, the more plausible, more complete favorite. 
you know. So we'll see what happens, you know. Don't worry, rest of the NFL. I'm never right anyway. So yeah, what are you gonna <laughs> What are you gonna do? That, that but those are my picks. And uh, thanks for listening. I'm trying to take my storyline. Well, I, I said know. the 49ers. Well, oh, well, yeah. well. Yeah. Uh, hey, listen. We don't have to fight. You and no, I can you know agree. Yeah. You know, we can agree. Yeah, uh, it's agree. the others that aren't here. You know, you they, know? they got to fight I about mean, it. come on, where are they? You we, know what I'm saying? Yeah, we gotta I don't even want to know. We're going to work in this together. They better you know? get here soon. Yeah. Or we're just going to beat them up. We'll just keep talking. That's they, it? They can keep listening. They can't defend themselves. they got to show up here in the studio. They can keep listening. But you know what? I do have to say, as much as I would love, 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 love to agree with you, I can't, to be honest. That's all right. So I'm just going to go right to my heart, you know? They, they aren't the best team, and they might be the worst team. But, and we talked about them earlier, I'm going to use my heart, and the New York Giants are who I would wish would just win the Super Bowl just one time while I'm actually watching football. You know, I'm a young fan, right? We always talk about how all these historic franchises have many Super Bowls, but I never watched the Giants win the Super Bowl. I've only seen them win one playoff game. So it'd be nice to see them get back there and win one. But as much as I want to use my heart, right, and easy would be to say with the Giants, with my heart, I can't do it. You know, we got to use our head sometimes when we're thinking. And, you know, being that this is a prediction show, I'm going to give you my prediction. And the real Super Bowl champion will be the Cincinnati Bengals. They are one of, if I'm correct, eight teams that have never won a Super Bowl. I think it's going to be seven after this. You talked about the Bills. They could make it seven. Uh, the Lions, we talked about them. They could make it seven. But Cincinnati's got, in my opinion, the third best quarterback in football, I think that they've got one of the best rosters, and I think, quite frankly, that this team is built to succeed. They've got a great defense, great receivers. They kept T. Higgins, very important. I just think they're one of the best teams. I need to hear, though, does that hurt? Does that hurt a little bit? No, no, you know what? I like the pick. I like the pick because it's realistic. You know, I mean, it, it, it could happen, you know. Um, no, I like the pick, and the defense is actually, I think, going to be a sleeper defense. Um, they're, pay they're playing some soft teams. Uh, coming up and you know they have a chance to uh, rise to the occasion you know put a beat down on some of these soft teams and that'll add confidence to the whole unit you know and uh, yeah. yeah not bad I do need to ask before we get out and out of here they play Kansas City week two Kansas City just beat Baltimore they're playing the Cincinnati Bengals now that's going to be a nice matchup do you think that week two Joe Burrow who historically has not won ever on week two by the way do you think he can finally beat the Chiefs well the odds are with him then you know what I mean? Like, if you're 0-6, eventually you're going to beat somebody. You know what I mean? So, yeah, maybe this will be the year that he wins in Week 2. But who's he playing this week? I forgot. Ooh, I think he's playing New England. Yeah, I knew it was a softer team. So, good, because now they can get their confidence up. And hopefully, you know, they don't kid themselves. If they beat up on New England, it's New England. You know, so then they're going to have to get their head back in the game. But that's a great matchup for Week 2. Yeah, I know. We are really lucky to have the matchup we have. And hopefully Joe Burrow can stay healthy. But... That, sadly, will be all the time we have for today. But before we go, I do need to ask you, do you have anything, finally, that you want to say, your final thoughts? Listen, here? I'm excited for the season to start. I'm excited to sit here and be with you. You're taking over the lead role here, and uh, that's what we need from, uh, from the young, aspiring uh, uh, students here at Warwick Valley Television. So good job, and, and the producers and the, and, the, and the support staff and the camera people. Uh, we're going to make this happen. We're going to have some good shows this year, so I'm psyched. Woo, woo, woo! That'll be the end dog, and again, I am Wi-Fi. Thank you guys for joining us so much on NFL Keeping Score, our primer show for today. And we will see you guys all next time, and we will catch up on our, uh, well, what we said were our upcoming stories.